going to have undefined terms. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to represent point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. But first, you need to prepare your materials for this module. Bring out your pen and notebook in math. Answer your pretest. Read each item carefully. Choose the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. A simple reminder to everyone, you can always pause the video and play it once you are done answering. Number 1. Which of the following represents a line? Number 2. It has no length, width, or thickness, and it occupies no space. Number 3. What is the name of the figure below? Number 4. Which of the following represents a point? And number 5. Name the given figure at the right. Let us check your work. What is your score? Don't worry if you got a low score. We're going to help you to process this lesson so that you can get a high score in your next activity. During your grade school years, you have encountered several geometric words including the word that is already marked. And these 10 words are arranged vertically, horizontally, and diagonally inside the box. Let's see how many words you can find and highlight the word as illustrated. Let's begin. Proceed to the second number. Area, square, rectangle, polygon, side, radius, circle, perimeter, octagon. And here are the answers. Good job if you see all these terms. Let me share to you facts about geometry. It comes from two Greek words, geo, meaning earth, and metri, meaning measurement. Thus, the word geometry means earth measurement. It is also a branch of mathematics which deals with the sizes, shapes, positions, and properties of all things around us. The most common geometric figures are point, line, and plane. They are considered undefined terms in geometry since they are simply ideas. These terms serve as basis for defining other geometric terms. The first undefined term in geometry is a point. It is represented as a dot. We can name it using a capital letter and can be read as point M. It has no length, width, or thickness, and it occupies no space. These are some pictorial models of a point. First, tip of a pen. This is a point and we name it as P or point P. Second pictorial model is a mole and this is point L. And these are more pictorial models of a point. Pearl earrings, hole in a cookie, and that's in a die. The second undefined term is a line. It is a straight mark with two arrow heads. Given two points, name J and C, we can name a line using two capital letters JC, or we may interchange it CJ with a double arrow head above them, or a lowercase letter, and can be read as line JC or line CJ or line M. These three names are referring to one line only. A line has infinite length but no width and thickness and is straight. Ballpen is an example of a pictorial model of a line. Given two points, we can draw a line. And this line can be named as line G. We can also have ruler. Given the name of two points, we can name the line as line AB or line BA. 
And these are more pictorial models of a line. A crayon, a flute, and an arrow. The third undefined term is a plane. A plane is a slanted four-sided figure. We can name a plane in many ways. First, by a single capital script letter, plane M. Or by using at least three points that do not lie on the same line. So, we have plane EOG. Or plane OGE. Or plane GEO. And these are three more ways. It has infinite length and width but no thickness. And also, it is a flat surface. Take note that these names are just referring to one plane. Let's have pictorial models of a plane. Handkerchief. Given points A, B, and C, we have six ways to name the plane. Second, cover of a book. Given a single capital script letter H, we have plain H. Third is attach case. Given points in every corner as S, A, V, and E, these are the possible names. Keep in mind that if you're going to name a plane using the points in every corner, you must name it consecutively. Another pictorial models, mattress, folder, and an ATM card. You can also think of objects around you that can represent a point, a line, and a plane. Just try to observe your surroundings. I'm sure you can give more. Let's try this. Example 1. Determine whether each of the following suggests a point, a line, or a plane. Button. It's a point. How about mirror? A plane. Strand of air. It's a line. Idealist. It's also a line. Tablecloth. A plane. Cell phone screen that you are holding right now is also a plane. Blackboard is a plane. Medicine tablet, a point. Corner of a box, it's a point. And lastly, a cable wire, it's a line. I hope the idea of undefined terms become clearer to you because of the illustrations you saw. Let's proceed to example 2. Name each figure in different ways. First given, a line. Second, a plane. Third, a line again. Last one will be a plane given the points in every corner. Great! You are now ready to answer different activities we prepared for you. You can always pause the video and play it once you are done answering. Activity 1. Let's practice. Activity 2. Keep practicing. Activity 3. Test yourself. To sum it up, answer the following. What are the three undefined terms in geometry? Describe the three undefined terms. And third, 
How to name a point, a line, and a plane. Let's have reflection in line with undefined terms. A point, line, and plane are present in the things around us. Without a point, line and plane would be nothing. A point might seem very small or tiny, but it plays an important role in geometry. Is there a moment in your life that you compare yourself to a point? Or do you think you are nothing or worthless? What did you do then? Did you try to know your importance? Did you even consider in seeking the real purpose of your life? Try to think about that. Now let us check how much we have learned. In this part, you need to answer the post test. Read each item carefully and choose the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. Again, you can always pause the video and play it once you are done answering. Now, it's time to check if your answers are correct in your activity and post-test. 